Hey, thanks for joining me today. It's Geraldine from the Paper Puffin Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to make this front flap tuck card. It opens like this, and when you close it, this little flap tucks right into the front. I hope you enjoy this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. Let's begin by reviewing all of the pieces you're going to need to build this card. You're going to need your base color, measuring six and a half inches by five and a half inches. You'll need another piece of that same base color, measuring three and a half inches by three and a half inches. For the coordinating color, you're going to need a piece that measures five and a quarter inches by four inches, a piece that measures five and three eighths of an inch by two and one eighth of an inch, and another piece measuring three and three eighths of an inch by two and five eighths of an inch. For your designer series paper, you're going to need one pattern that measures five and a quarter inches by two inches, and another coordinating pattern that measures three and a quarter inches by two and a half inches. For the image and sentiment for the front, I've chosen to use the stitched rectangle dies. If you don't have these, the pieces measure three and five eighths by two and a quarter and three and a quarter by one and seven eighths. You can choose whatever shapes you like to match the size of the sentiment and or image you want to place on the front. Now we're ready to do the scoring. So we're taking our largest piece and we're taking the six and a half inch edge and placing it along the top of our trimmer. We're going to line this up at two and one quarter inches and we're going to score. I have one more piece that needs to be scored and this is the piece that measured three and a half by three and a half. We're going to be scoring this at three quarters of an inch. So lining it up at three quarters of an inch and score. We're now ready to fold and burnish along those score lines. At this point, I want to stamp the image that's going to appear in the top right hand corner on the inside of the card. So keeping in mind that this piece is going to go tucked underneath the insert, I need to ensure that whatever I stamp will be visible up here. The stamp I'm choosing is from the Sailing Home set and I'm choosing to stamp these birds. I'll go ahead and stamp these birds up here and we'll pick up there. Now before I go ahead and attach the insert to the inside of the card, I've taken my smaller piece, which was three and a half by three and a half, and right along this edge here, where the score line is here, I've placed some tear and tape. I've done that so that when I tuck this piece underneath the insert, I can attach it and then fold over the flap. At that point then, I'm ready to attach this to the inside of the card. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this portion to this insert. I'll speed this portion up for you. Now with the insert in place along with the flap, I'm going to attach the designer series papers to their coordinating mats. I'll go ahead and do that and we'll pick up there. With each piece of designer series paper now attached to the mat, I'm going to be taking this piece and attaching it to the front of the card. 
and then I'll take this piece and I'll attach it to this flap. I'll go ahead and glue those in place and we'll pick up there. Now that I have all of the pieces assembled for the main part of the card, I'm ready to stamp the image and the sentiment that I want for the front. I'll be using the sentiment in high tide or low tide, I'll be by your side, and that is coming from the high tide stamp set. And I'll also be using these birds. I have the sentiment and the image stamped and I went ahead and using dimensionals, I popped this piece up on the background. I'm now going to be attaching this to the front of the card and so that this piece can tuck in, I'll just be putting some dimensionals right along this edge on the back. That will allow this to be a front tuck card. So the dimensionals will go right along here. I've got the dimensionals attached to the back You'll see that they're funny shapes because I trim off the edges so that I don't waste any of the dimensionals. I'll go ahead and remove the backing and attach this to the front of the card. So I'm lining this up at the front of the card, like so. And then this little flap here tucks in when you close, like this. The final touches will be to embellish this front panel. I'll go ahead and do that and show you what the finished product looks like. So here we have the finished card. I went ahead and embellished a little bit here and with some twine. When you open the card, it opens like this and the front flap tucks in like this. I've made a couple of other versions this version, I used the Let It Ride stamp set. And here's a slightly different version of the one that I showed you, just with a different shape of the front. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.